Shalom Aleichem. I have some friends that, it's a painful truth, but I have some friends that cannot find that inner power to, to sacrifice what that I believe that needs to be sacrificed for eternal success in this lifetime. And, um, and then they suffer tremendously now. They think when they choose not to suffer based on their mindset, not to sacrifice, not to listen to the rebukes of their wives or not to deal with life through faith, honest faith, not religious faith. Real understanding that everything that happens in our lives is all from Hashem, is all for good reason, for a good cause, for a purpose. And that there's a lesson and meaning to any life situation that we find ourselves experiencing. And those guys, they think that they cannot suffer anymore and that they were not supposed to suffer so much. and but they don't know and don't realize that the next stage of suffering will be much worse. And it's also, you cannot call suffering to something that is justified. Like if you hurt something, someone and then that one is coming towards you and tell you the truth, <laughs> that's, that's not even a rebuke, it's, that's the truth. Like. If your wife, she's upset, she's not a happy person, and you know and you believe that you are commanded and appointed to follow the Torah's mitzvah that is saying, that you must make your wife happy. And that's an obligation from the Bible, from the Torah. Like that we're obligated to put filin, to keep Shabbat, to eat kosher food. In the exact same, same level, we are obligated to make our wives happy, no matter what. Like that no matter what you need to keep Shabbat and no matter what you need to put filin and no matter what you need to eat kosher food. But there's no kosher food. Okay, so eat vegetables. Vegetables are always kosher. I didn't have time to pray shacharit in the morning. Okay, so put filin in the afternoon. Very close to the evening. I didn't prepare food for Shabbat. Uh, my wife, she said she doesn't want to keep Shabbat. Okay, so what? But Shabbat is Shabbat and you must keep Shabbat. So exactly like that, you're going to follow all the halachot, all the Jewish rules. Also, you are obligated in the exact same um, level of importance to the mitzvah of making your wife happy. Now, if she's not happy, it's your responsibility. Exactly like that, if it was hard for you to put filin. So people think, no, it's too heavy for me. Okay, filin are also too heavy. Shabbat can also be too heavy. Just know and don't justify yourself. No, I cannot keep Shabbat. No. You maybe don't have the merit to keep Shabbat. Maybe you don't have the privilege from heaven to, to make your wife happy. So they think that they're going to get rid of their wives and going to go and like uh, do whatever they, they dream that will make them happier. And by that, they're going to remove the pain. Like the wife is, is the pain, are the pain. No. The pain is coming because of your sin. En yisurim belavon. There is no suffering without sin. And mida keneged mida lo batlamin haolam. Equal to your sin is the punishment, and that way of judgment never went away from the world. That is the way the heaven's court is judging people according to their actions. You did something wrong, you're going to pay for that and also with great discounts. So you think you're gonna get rid of your problem, your wife, you, you think you're gonna get rid of your, your, your issue by running away from, from the message. For years she told you you're selfish, for years she said you're not, uh, you, you're not making her happy, you're depressing her, you're making her upset. And I'm now talking to the men, and it's true that you can find also situations that will be in the opposite. That the women, they have, uh, like, they failed, they mistake, they did something wrong. Like, I'm, I'm not uh, um, cancelling that option as well. 
But I'm talking about a certain situation that I'm experiencing with friends of mine, people that I really care for. And I see how they thinking to themselves that they will get rid of their problems by divorcing their wives, running away from the rebuke of Hashem, from the tochacha of Hashem. That is a revealed message for those people to correct themselves. But when people does not have ears to hear, I, uh, I will not uh, be direct and rebuke them. So I'm, I'm saying it to you guys, maybe one of you is in the same situation and will find this message wise um, for him to improve and to take seriously the messages from Hashem and not to think that you are being destroyed by your wife. No, your wife is the speaker that is talking to you in a reflection, direct reflection from Hashem. And it doesn't mean that you are evil or a villain. Or she's talking about certain points that you need to fix. And when you're gonna fix those things, the judgment and the pain and the, and the suffer and sorrow will be gone, will disappear, will be vanished. And only kindness and love and mutual respect will come back and restore to life. We need to believe that there is a supervisor on our lives and we're not like walking in chaos and what's going to happen and what will be. What it will be is what it Hashem will bring towards our lives based on His judgment, based on His call. the sweetness of the Holy Land. May Hashem bless us all to rise and shine, to be honest and truthful. As our soul truly desire. <laughs> With the Muna project, all the nations with me. Close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news. Be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth. See the good, no fear, no despair. Cherish who that you are and share. Source of power from an endless spring. Light up courage. In yourself, you they can kick you down to the ground Hold yourself up till you are put up your crown King of the Creator, Holy Soul inside Focus on the spiritual and you shall